Alright guys, you guys should know that I was gonna be reviewing this game when I can and I'm still playing the I'm still playing the campaign on my own, but also I I've watched cutscenes and I know how it all ends. So I'm just gonna give my thoughts on Halo as a whole right now, Halo Infinite as a whole, and the gameplay, the story, the characters, the works. And I'm gonna get into the positives, I'm gonna get into the negatives, so Again, if you guys have not played it, stay away from this. Again, if you have, let me know your thoughts about it. And again, if you love this game, that was great. If you hated this game, that's on you too. You, everybody is entitled to their own opinion. Now, we got multiplayer before this even came out. Before the campaign came out. Multiplayer, I think they did a good job on. Multiplayer, they... They really took the, I would say, the Halo Reach approach, and I love that. I would say, for gameplay alone, we got the Halo Combat Evolved very first game slash Halo Reach treatment. And I like that. I'm not saying that's a bad thing. I like it because I love customization. I love being able to customize my own personal Spartan, being able to upgrade my Spartan, especially upgrade Chief in the campaign. Also get to see, you know, different you know, styles, being able to fight, and everything that we were not able to see in the uh, other games. We weren't really able to do that in 3, 4, or even in ODST, or any of those games. We were able to do this now in this one, 5. Again, 5 had its own issues, 4 had its own issues, but again, I think Infinite kind of was trying to give a reboot, so to speak, into the franchise, and some sometimes it works, sometimes it don't. It just all depends on what fans want at the end of the day and i think to a certain degree we got a good amount of fan service but at the same time we got more questions than we did answers and some things that really don't make sense because now to the story what we see is months after the battle with the banished where you know, Infinity gets attacked by the Banish, and so does all the other UNSC forces. We're still trying to go after Cortana. Chief battles Atriox, loses, gets in space, gets found by this pilot that's not even a real pilot. And in the entirety of the story, you're trying to rebuild the UNSC on the new Halo ring that we find, as well as also you find a, another AI by the name of the weapon that is a resemblance and a copy of Cortana. And the entirety of the story is trying to figure out what, what happened, how did we lose, as well as what happened to the Banished, and everything of that nature. And the entirety of the story, which again, a lot of spoilers, we find out Cortana just killed a lot of Spartans on herself, a lot of UNSC forces, destroyed Atriox's, the Brute's home world, and Atriox supposedly died, even though at the very end it shows that he didn't, that he is trying to wake up the Endless Chief at the very end, goes to another planet or somewhere trying to stop the endless from happening which is i'm guessing precursors and we see where they're trying to make an alliance that banishes with these uh creatures that are called the endless now the weapon <clears throat> was a good character to a certain degree again i don't like how they did cortana because i think four was probably the best way to end her character but at the same time just try to save her I, I don't like how they killed her off screen. I hated that they killed her off screen. I hated that they now we're at the lowest of the totem pole again. That we, you know, so many Spartans are dead. Chief is like the last of his kind. It just really, it just makes me wonder, okay. We lost so many Spartans due by the Brutes. Due by the ones that were the main bosses, right? And we don't know who survived. We don't know where Locke is. It's supposedly he's either dead or whatever. There, there is a scene where if you look on one of the brutes that you fight, that he lost his armor or he's dead. So we don't know if he's really dead or he's in hiding or if he somehow is just wherever. We don't know. And I'm sitting here and I'm going, okay, wait a minute. This is stupid. So you're killing a lot of characters off screen. And again... I have not read none of the books. I'm going to say this right now, guys. I have not read none of the books for Halo. I've listened to some audio books. I've listened to some YouTubers that have talked about the books. But that is it. We don't know where Blue Team is. Where is Fire Team or Cyrus during this? We don't know. Most fans that play the games don't know. We have to, it, like me, I play the games. I've read a couple of books in the past, but I don't really remember a lot of them. So I have to dig in this 
all on my own. I go into it because I'm like, okay, where's Kelly? Where's Fred? You know, where's Buck? Where Where's Locke? You know, where, where's Arbiter? You know, where, where are all these characters that we want to know what happened to them? Because at the very end, there was a huge time gap from five to now. Like, what the hell? And that's what made no, no sense at all. It really didn't, you know? And going up against someone that is a brute that is the, uh, not even Atriox. We don't even go up against Atriox in this game. That really pissed me off because I wanted to go up against Atriox. I wanted to fight against Atriox and, you know, deliver a blow and then have to fight him again later on. I think that would have been great, but they didn't do that. And we played up against someone that was a, the, I would say the mentor of Atriox. So again, I just, I don't understand why the hell that they did this. Again, 343, they kind of, they kind of just shot below the bell on this one. Again, it's not like we didn't have bad characters. We didn't. It's just, you gave us more questions than answers. And it just really sucks. And again, I hated, let me rephrase this. I hated the pilot. The pilot was so freaking annoying. He was, anno he was a puss. He is annoying. He's an annoying character. No one... You need him for what reason? What does he do? All he does is he gets cheap. Anyone else could have done that. For a better story, and I'm going to tell you this, guys, now. Chief can fly a Pelican. He can pretty much fly anything, right? So, what did he need him for? Nothing. If they wanted someone, you could have gotten... Sarah, you, you should have gotten Palmer, or you should have gotten Locke to survive. Got beaten by the Banish, and then find Chief... And say, hey, we need help. And this is what happens. And that didn't happen. And we ha we go up against, uh, you know, es Estrum, who is the uh, new so-called leader of the Banish because we don't know what happened to Atriox. And he's like the big bad. And then he's supposedly dying. And then we have another elite that's been killing Spartans throughout the entirety of the story. And we find them and we use their upgrades to go up. But it's like the Spartans it's like they they milk down the Spartans because again everybody knows the Spartan is hard to take down right but the only time we saw a milk down Spartans is in Halo Reach but again it's just I don't understand why they went this route I feel like that 343 did us right but also did us dirty in a lot of ways I think that they could have given us another character me personally this is what I would have done same route but give us a character we know, like Locke, for an example, or someone else, like do the pilot, but at the same time, find someone else that is more relevant, someone that actually is matters, and says, hey, Chief, this is what happened. Chief, this is what happened. Why happened to all the Spartans? Well, this happened. What happened to this? This happened. We're playing a guessing game throughout the entirety of the game, and then we find out the weapon is, of course, a copy of... Of Cortana she's not even Cortana she is a copy she's the same matter of Cortana she has I guess the memories of Cortana well not the memories of Cortana but she has I guess certain characteristics of Cortana, of Cortana. she has all the uh, you know the, the intelligence like Cortana but again she's not Cortana so it makes me wonder if something's gonna happen to where old Cortana is gonna go into the weapon and be able to kind of take over and then we get Cortana back. I would like to see something like that. I don't want evil Cortana. I did not like evil Cortana. I think that was stupid and I want Cortana back. I want our Cortana back. I don't want this crap that they gave us. I like Cortana. I want my I want my Cortana. I want my Cortana back, the one that I grew up on. Again, I like it. I like the weapon, but at the same time, I don't. I don't like how they did Cortana. I don't. I don't like them that they killed her off. I don't like how they did Atriox. I don't like how they did the um, some of the characters. We don't know where none of them are. Again, unless I guess you read the books. So it's just, it just it just really bugs me, and I got really upset about it because it makes me wonder what exactly 343 is doing. And at the same time, I understand they're doing a story, and they're going to set up for another sequel. But at the same time... You got to give fans something so that we can be happy at the end of the day. Gameplay, I think, was great. Seeing with the uh, the harpoon, or or, or have you want to say it, I think it was great. I think it was a great little little thing where you go up higher. The weapons was a good uh, difference. Again, you could have given us more ammo. That's just my opinion. Giving us different kind of weapons from the Banish as well as also the Covenant. I think that was pretty cool. Uh, the different ones from the Precursors that was cool as well. Also with 
kind of given us going up against bosses like Resident Evil style or just kind of old school style. I think that was a good little uh, addition to the franchise because I think that was something not really Halo fans are used to, and, and including myself. I'm not used to something like that, and I think it was cool, but at the same time, I don't think it was needed. But at the same time, I'm not going to say, oh, I don't want this again. I wouldn't mind having it again, but it's one of those, I'm not against it, and I'm not for it. Same thing for taking over these bases or going over against these checkpoints or these strongholds. I think that was fun. Uh, I'm not against it. I'm not for it either. I I'm just kind of in the middle because, again, I feel like you could do that in any kind of game, especially like Assassin's Creed. So I didn't think they were going to kind of do that to Halo. Again, I don't think it's going to... I don't know if it's going to help it or if it's going to uh, fail it. Because, again, I think it just all depends on the player at the end of the day. Uh, again, I love the Master Chief. I love Cortana. I love the characters in Halo. I'm very protective of the characters in Halo. I just... I, I don't know. I mean, Halo right now, for me, Halo Infinite right now, there's things about it I love and there's things about it I don't. So, again, overall, 1 out of 10, I give it maybe a 7.5 or an 8.5. That's just me because, again, there's things about it I like. There's characters I like. There's characters I don't like. I love the Banish. I think the Banish are... I think better even even better than the covenant i think they're more interesting with them being you know you know banished no pun intended from the covenant that they are you know rogues and we want to see something like it makes me wonder you know if the if the full banished uh fleet i guess you'd say came to earth and we had all the spartans even master chief leading against the fight with you know the swords of saint helios you know with arbiter and all them to help against the banish who would come out the victor it really makes me wonder you know that's why i think a lot of people got kind of upset you know let's see all these characters come together and fight the banish and see what we can do don't worry about the precursors don't worry about this again we're gonna have that in a game but don't focus on that focus on the banish focus on the enemy for one freaking moment and that's what they did in Halo. Halo. Halo Reach did that right. We focused on the Covenant because the Covenant was such a huge force. And when they came down on Reach, they annihilated the entirety of the planet. And we got to see so many Spartans go up against the uh, the Covenant that it was hard to see what was really going on. But they mainly focused on Noble Team. And that's what they need to kind of do in the next game. If they do that in Halo, but at the same time, they, they try to focus too much on the precursors. I know there's a lot of people that enjoy that. But again, at the same time, it does get old after a while. And we need something fresh. And we need something different. They gave us something new and something fresh. Again, I'm not trying to complain here. But I'm trying to show what I like about the game as well as what I dislike about the game. Because at the same time, there's so many characters that... You're sitting here and you're going, okay, why were they in the game? How are they relevant? And they're not, especially with the pilot. Again, I'm not going to get get off the pilot because he is a crappy character. I don't like him. I, he is a very annoying character. He is pretty much any kind of character at the end of the day that has a family and also is, you know, scared. Oh, because he, you know, he's scared. He's not in the military. It's just, it's annoying. It's really annoying. And I think they could have given us a better character to fly the Pelican to help us out. They could have given us another Spartan. Hell, they could have given us a Spartan in training that was hiding out and, and found Chief and could have been the same thing. We could have found Locke or we could have found somebody, you know, Palmer or Lasky to somebody that would have actually be able to give us answers other than audio logs and again audio logs is cool but at the same time it'd be a lot better if we had better cutscenes. so again guys those are just my thoughts on halo infinite i'm finally happy i'm able to give you guys a review but at the same time i feel like the game really is right now dividing fans uh for campaign wise i really think that they are dividing the fandom right now whether you love or hate the game. But again, if you can come out and say this game is perfect, then I don't know what to tell you. If you can come out and say this game is just absolute trash, then I don't know what to tell you. Me, I'm kind of in the middle. I don't think the game is perfect, but I also don't think the game is trash. I think that it all depends on the player at the end of the day. It all depends on the person at the end of the day. And it also depends on what your play style is at the end of the day and also what characters you like, what characters you don't like, as well as what you want to see in a future Halo game. It's there. It's done. It's over with. That's all we can do. Just like how I don't like Halo Wars 1 or 2, I'm not a fan of the gameplay. I don't mind the story, but I'm not a fan of the gameplay. I cannot stand the gameplay. I cannot stand that kind of, kind of gameplay. That is the reason why I will not touch that game, period. I will not touch it, period, because I hate the gameplay. But either way... I will play Halo further into my lifetime, and 
I want to see more Banish. I want to see more other Spartans return. I want to see other characters return. I want to see Cortana return. And I want answers that was not given into Halo Infinite. So let me know what you guys think about this down in the comments down below. If you guys are new to the channel, subscribe, subscribe, leave a big like on the video. If you guys enjoyed it, what are your thoughts on Halo Infinite? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Was it okay? Was it kind of in the middle? What is your ranking? I'd like to know down in the comments down below. What did you guys think about the story? What did you guys think about the multiplayer? What did you guys think about the customization? Please let me know your thoughts around here, guys. I like going into conversations about it. Again, I'm not a Halo know it at all. I'm not a Halo know it all. I don't know everything about Halo. I like to be educated more on Halo, but at the same time, I also know what I'm talking about on certain degrees. And I, everybody has a pain at the end of the day. Just because you don't agree with me, that's perfectly fine. Just because I don't agree with you, that's perfectly fine. If you agree with me, you disagree with me, that's perfectly fine. We are all Halo fans at the end of the day. Just because you don't like something, just because you do like something, does not make you any less of a fan. So let me know what you guys think about it once again. And I'll see you guys as always on the next video.